So here we have some DV footage, and, and I'll go ahead and start playing it here. Now the first thing is, is that, of course, we're in motion, and what that means is that we're watching this at 30 frames a second, immediately, right out of the, right out of the can, which is uh, exciting in itself. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a filter. So we'll go to DV Garage, and we'll add DV Matte Blast. Now, nothing happened yet. Let's take a look at the inspector. And uh, we're still showing the foreground. Now, the next thing we want to do usually is take the high color, and we'll select a high color here. Uh, we'll try to find the thing that is probably the brightest in the frame. Uh, and then we're going to go into the low color, and we're going to try to find what we think is maybe the darkest area. If we don't hit it quite right, we'll fix it later. So by doing that, that's most of what you do in, in DV Matte. Let's take a look at what we've done. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is we have this set to gray so that we can make sure that we can just get a, kind of a sense of how the mat's working. So let's take a look at the composite. Well, that's not too bad. Not bad at all for two clicks in real time. And you're going you're to hear me say this over and over and over again. We're doing this in real time. It didn't lose a frame on the DV footage. So uh, now it's pretty close. Let's take a look at what we have here. So I'm going to hold Shift A for alpha. And well, it's, it's not too bad. We've got a little, we've got some little um, uh, ghosting here. Uh, that's, you know, we can, we can work with that. So there's a couple things that we can do. You'll see that we have a, a, the ability to tune the sample color. So we might want to play with this a little bit. And we, and we may, if you turn it up or down, you can see how it can bring some of the pieces up. Once again, remember, we're looking at this while it's playing back and able to make a lot of these adjustments. And you can see as I bring some of this, this low point down, almost all that ghosting that I saw before, has disappeared. So that probably was most of what we needed to handle um, you know, for that process. Now we, we can also, this is softened vertically. If we turn it off, you'll see it gets a little tighter on the edges. Um, some of that is to just make it a little bit nicer on the eyes as far for DV footage. Remember, we're still dealing with a little bit of, a lot of damage that's, that's been put together there. And it just really depends on what you're doing. If we hit Shift C to look at the color, that's not too bad. You can see that there's a lot of detail in this hair. Um, the edges look pretty good. Uh, uh, now, right there, you're gonna right in here. You're going to see uh, a little bit of green. We we can just kind of attack that by down here with the red spill. So we can we can neutralize uh, some of those edges that we might get in motion blur. But once again, I mean, just the idea that we're looking at DV footage. We've got detail in the hair. We've got motion blur in the fingers. We've got all these things, and we're keying it as fast as we can move things around. Now, just to kind of give you an overview of what we're doing here, remember, we have the high sample color and the low sample color. We're softening vertically to maybe clean up some of the edges there. It may look a little odd here, but if we have another color in the background, we may end up with something that kind of blends her in a little bit. Uh, we have the black point. Uh, you'll almost never need to adjust this. This is for the Luma information. These controls down here, this black point, in point, out point, detail gain, these are all related to the Luma information. Now, if we bring it up and we look at the, let me, I'm going to hit Shift A and look at the stuff. If we bring this up, you'll see where the, what's going on here. Now, sometimes you can get more detail, but you also will start bringing up the screen a little bit, so you have to watch that. And here you can see it. this is the, uh, the other side, the out point here. You don't really need to worry about what in point and out point mean. It's, it's, it's how it relates to, uh, how it relates to the, this Luma channel. Um, but it allows you to clean up the mat if you need to. Detail gain, we're not going to see. You can see how it tightens up the mat as well. Uh, we're not going to need to worry about it here, but in future pieces that I show you, you'll, you that, that'll be important. Um, a lot of times you'll get blue, uh, some green spill coming over, and, uh, and that'll be very helpful to uh, kind of push it out. So let's go back. 